Scientists argue the details of precisely how and when the canyon was created. The mystery may never be completely solved because the river, like a master criminal, carried off the clues as it carved the canyon. Many geologists now think it happened something like this. All of the Earth's oceans and continents ride upon enormous pieces of the Earth's crust called plates, which fit together like a restless jigsaw puzzle, jostling each other at the edges. 80 million years ago, two of these plates collided at North America's west coast. The Pacific plate slid under the North American plate, creating the Rocky Mountains and ultimately forcing the uplift of the whole Colorado Plateau. The combination of the mighty Colorado River flowing over the already rising plateau created a geological buzzsaw, a deep groove from which the river could not escape. Many scientists now think it took only about four million years for the Colorado River to carve the canyon. Compared to the rocks and its walls, some nearly two billion years old, the canyon itself is a relative youngster. But the river's buzzsaw can account for only a narrow gash in the earth. And in places, the rims of the Grand Canyon are 18 miles apart. How did the canyon get so wide? Well, it's important to understand that the river by itself did not carve this canyon. The river did cut down its own channel, but basically it's a transportation system. It's the freight train that carried all the rest of the rock out. And the canyon was widened out by all of the side streams and all the little rivulets that are carving into the canyon wall. It's not the river that made the great wide canyon that we see, but all the tributary drainage systems that, that led to the carving of the canyon. Side streams and tributaries flow into the main Colorado River gouging out their own side canyons, like this one. When there's a violent storm, truck-sized boulders tear loose from the canyon walls and are driven headlong in a terrifying wall of mud and rock called the debris flow. This rare footage of a debris flow sweeping through a dry valley was shot by scientists in China in 1990. Traveling 20 miles per hour, the flow packs the power of a river of liquid concrete. Here in the canyon, such debris flows rip out of side canyons, like this one, finally emptying into the main stem of the Colorado. Given enough time, all rocks, no matter how settled they may appear, are subject to change. <laughs> 